Hello and welcome to day five of science of Wilshire United Methodist Church, virtual VBS, Knights of North Castle. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making something that's kind of like a seismograph. Now, you can use uh, a lot of different materials that are provided, and you've gotten a, a lot of extra materials, and hopefully there will be some instructions um, on the side to let you know when and where you can use these materials. Um, a lot of them are for arts and crafts, uh, and a lot of them are for your science. Today we're going to be using two of the big popsicle sticks, and get maybe about five, six, or seven of the smaller popsicle sticks, and you're going to need one of your clothes pins. Remember we used one of them for your catapult? You should have three. You can use a small one, a big one, or a medium one. They should all work fine for today. Each of you should also have a roll of uh, what looks like small duct tape. It's colored, and you would have used some of this for your arts and crafts projects to decorate your shield, or your belt of truth or things like that. But you should have enough left over for this experiment. Now this is brand new, so I'm going to use my duct tape that I've already opened, and this is giant and big. You're going to need one of your markers, and that is going to help us uh, show how much vibration, how much shaking is going on. First, let me tell you what we're going to build. We're going to build something that's kind of like a seismograph. And a seismograph measures, a lot of us in California know this, a seismograph measures how big and how long an earthquake was. Well, hopefully we're not going to have an earthquake during our BBS, or even if we do, that it's a small one and nothing will be destroyed. But I know that's kind of a kind of big word, right? And a scary thing. But remember, have faith in Jesus. Armor up with the armor of God, and God will be able uh, to take care of you and be there for you, even though things might be very difficult. So today, what we're gonna do is you're going to take your two big popsicle sticks and you're going to make it look like a cross and or a big X. And you're going to take some of your duct tape. This is gonna be pretty loud. There we go. And what you're going to do is yours is thin, so it should be easier to do this. So mine's a little bit thick, so it's gonna take some time. What you're gonna do is you're going to take your duct tape and you're going to tape one stick onto another like this. And just for good measure, let's do the same thing on the bottom side with the second piece of tape. If you don't have any of that duct tape left over from your arts and crafts, it's okay, don't worry. You can use tape or you can use glue uh, to put these sticks together and it'll work just fine. What this is going to do is this is going to be our base and it's going to hold up our smaller popsicle sticks that we're going to use for uh, our uh, seismograph. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our clothespin, and you see how it opens up and down? Well, we're going to make it open side to side. Good, and we're going to place it on here, and we're going to, now this is gonna be a little bit tricky, but it shouldn't be too hard, okay? We're going to take a piece of duct tape, right and yours is thin so it should be easier and we're going to put it on one side remember it's opening side to side not up to not up and down it's opening side to side and we're going to put it on one side now what we're going to do is we're going to put it on our base and then as we hold it we're going to wrap the tape around to the other side and that's perfect and it's okay if it just stays there we just need it to stay there for a little bit. Now, I did it so that the stick is in the middle. You can do it so that when you put the thin popsicle sticks on, it comes off to the other side. And I'm gonna turn my, remember, side to side, I'm gonna turn my clip around so that it sticks on the other way. Now we have this. Now, take your thin popsicle sticks and a little bit more duct tape, and we need to build something that's a little bit taller than our marker, okay? So we have our marker, it's about this tall. So I'm going to make it about, um, let's say, this tall. I think that's pretty good. And I'm going to take my tape, 
and I'm gonna wrap it around. So now that we have a giant stick. Now, remember how we put it side to side? I'm gonna take my clothespin, I'm gonna open it just a little bit and so that my stick, ta-da, will stand up. Now, we have the big part done. Now, this is the part that gets a little bit hard. What we're going to do is we're going to measure our marker. All of you should have a marker. And most of you should have a lot of uh, marker color left in there. And I'm gonna do it a little bit higher. Do you see that? And I'm going to tape one popsicle stick along the lines like this. Taking my duct tape, tape that here. You can ask mom and dad for help if this part is hard. Or, if it's too hard, now that you know where you want to put it, you could take the stick out, put it on the ground, or put it on your table, lay it flat so that it's easier to, to tape, and I'm just going to tape it like so. ta -da! You can squish it in just a little bit. Now, if you want, you can put a piece of tape on the back, too, to make it a little bit stronger. I'm going to go ahead and do that just so that as we're filming, it doesn't fall apart. There we go. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to work. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remember, open up our... and put that in. That's actually pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Now this is the part where it could get a little bit tricky. I'm going to take a good piece of my uh, duct tape, and you're not going to do anything fancy with it, but what you're going to do is you're going to put it on the end of your marker, and make sure you have a long piece that sticks up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, now I have a piece of paper right here, and you're going to have a piece of paper too, so that, so that you're not making marks on your table, but I have a piece of paper on here, and I'm just going to make sure that this pen can reach this paper, just so that the tip rests on the paper. Do you see that? Good. So that it can make some marks. And here we go. Here is our seismograph. Now, as well, what do you think is going to happen as I shake the table? I'm going to put it on here, and once I shake the table and I move my popsicle stick over this way, what do you think is going to happen? Whoops, hold on to that, there we go. <gasps> do you see all the marks that it made? I'm going to put the cap back on. Now this table's pretty pretty strong, so it didn't shake a lot. Your table might shake some more. Do you see all the lines that were made as it was shaking? Who can tell? We started here, and as it shook, the marker jumped. And as it shook some more, it got all jiggly. And then it shook some more, and the marker jumped. And it shook some more. This is how a seismograph works. A seismograph has something like a pen, and it has a big roll of paper, and the paper constantly moves. And if there's ever any shaking that's going on in the earth, the pen will use it to make scratches and marks on the paper so that people can see how big the earthquake was and how long it lasted. Do you remember the story of Philip and Silas where they were in prison and an earthquake happened and they were set free and then they shared salvation unto the guard because the guard was really worried that all the prisoners escaped and he, doesn't, he wasn't sure what's gonna happen to him. And Philip shared with him the word of God to follow Christ and offer salvation unto the guard. Well, earthquakes can be a great thing like that. Remember, God is in control of all things. God loves you and so do I. I had a great time doing science with you during this VBS. Have a wonderful summer. I love you all.